Good afternoon and welcome to State News File. I'm Garrett Steffen. Brody Ratcliffe will have weather coming up, but first let's check in with Sam Fraser. Sam, the Flames played last night. Do I even want to know the outcome? Thanks, Brody. Now here's a look at today's top stories. The Supreme Court of Canada gave the green light this morning to the federal government to impose a carbon tax on provinces. COVID-19 has taken its toll on everyone's mental health, but one study shows anxiety and depression has doubled for mothers. A University of Calgary study led by Dr. Susan Tuff followed 3,000 Alberta mothers and their children for 12 years to better to hearing about it. I'll have a look at weather later today, but first here are today's top stories. Frontline healthcare workers will be getting the first doses of the highly sought after Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. The Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine arrived at Calgary International Airport Monday night. A total of 3,000 plus vaccines landed on the tarmac last night and doses will be. Those are today's top stories. I'll have your full forecast after the break. But first, here's a look at what's going on in Calgary this week. State's business school has been recognized in the top 100 schools in the world. As Brody Ratcliffe reports, the schools were ranked on a number of different factors, including satisfaction levels from students, grads and industry leaders. For today's top stories, we'll have a look at your full forecast after the break. But first, Ty has a look at what's going on around Calgary this week. 